Congratulations to Gary Russell for winning a unanimous decision against the tough Nyan Baya. Now, for the people that don't know Nyan Baya or not familiar with him, then a fun fact for y'all is that this is the same guy who beat the same person that defeated Ramirez in his debut. Of course, Ramirez was the guy who beat Shakur for the gold medal in the Olympics. That being said, Venom, which was his nickname, he fought Gary Russell, gave him a good fight. I did not anticipate him to be that good. And he even looked so big, I thought Gary Russell been moved up to 135. So that being said, I guess Gary Russell might consider canceling his plans moving up to 135 because inactivity seemed to give him a problem and he need to start being more active to be as sharp as he used to be. Of course, that's the complaints of the fans lately. They claim Gary Russell is not as active as he should be. However, y'all can't have it both ways. When is a guy like Gary Russell who's calling out the big names, however, he cannot get the big names because Cruz, Mares not interested in him. He's too good for them. So they rather fight each other than Gary Russell. In the meantime, people complain about Andrade and Charlo staying active while the big names are avoiding them. So y'all can't have it both ways. That's why when Andrade and Charlo fight their mandatories, it's different than when Gennady Golovkin is fighting his mandatory. Because Gennady Golovkin is the one that's turning down the big fight with Charlo and with Andre to fight a guy that's 25 to 1 underdog. On the other hand, Andre is the one offering Gennady Golovkin a fight. And Gennady Golovkin is turning it down. And likewise for Charlo, because Charlo was ordered to fight Gennady Golovkin by the WBC, and the winner of that fight was gonna face Canelo. However, Gennady Golovkin said absolutely not. I'm not going to get the Canelo fight because Charlo might stop me. And he did not take the fight. So when Charlo and Andre stay active fighting unknown fighters or mandatories, people complain. However, when Gary Russell doesn't fight anybody and waste on the big names, they complain when Gary Russell only fights too far in between. Which one is it? Y'all can't have it both ways. Now, one thing we can do is pressure these fighters to fight these fighters on the coincidentalist. Because, of course, they treating it like the murderous world of today and they want none of the smoke. And that's the problem in boxing. So that being said, Gary Russell, he definitely showed in and did his best. At some points, he even went to Venom and went toe to toe. But the half of the round, he will basically choose to box as he should. However, I feel like he could have took a page out of Andre Ward book and that's the stiff hard jab. Make him think twice before walking in. Don't let him walk you down. You know, it's good to throw a snappy jab so your opponent can't counter you, but you have to vary your offense speed-wise, power-wise, and predictability-wise by throwing multiple different punches like an uppercut, hook, Jab, you got to vary your offense. So that's a page you could take from Andre Ward book. Andre Ward was a very master at that. That being said, um, Gary Russell had a tough opponent tonight. Hopefully this performance give courage to all these other fighters and champions that keep avoiding Gary Russell. I see the only guy wanting to fight him and reply to Gary Russell was Shakur. They actually good friends from what I heard, but they want to fight each other. And how Gary Russell looked tonight, I don't know if it was due to his opponent or the inactivity or both. Shakur gonna want to capitalize on that. So Gary Russell, for the moment, he need to forget about moving up in weight, especially to 135 as one jump right away and focus on 126 because he have the number one pound for pound future potential Shakur in his division. And that's one guy no one could ever take lightly. And last but not least, I want to congratulate all the Gary Russells that fought tonight. And of course, Wigan Diaw. He's old and washed 
and still making history. So congratulations to him as well. We will talk about this during Split Decision tomorrow. It's a boxing debate slash talk show. So tune in Sunday live. Call in if you want to debate. If you want the smoke, we with it. That being said, I appreciate all my keys. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to these decafs slash old media. And if you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is attend the IQ University for free every Sunday live on Split Decision by clicking on the notification bell to get notified every time you post to go live. Follow Luna Tune Boxing for the funniest boxing memes in the description box below on Instagram and me too at IQ TV. This is the Boxing Brotherhood, so welcome to it and to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki Ak TV, aka My Brother TV. Peace and we out here.